So what's the problem now? We need to make the hole bigger. We put all of this plumbing on, which we just assumed would fit through that hole, and it doesn't. So what are you doing? I'm gonna make the hole bigger. With your, tool, with your tools? Yes. All right, go get them, show them how. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it. It's not been easy at all. In fact, I think building small little fountains sometimes is harder than million dollar ponds. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I'm back in my front yard working on my water feature and I'll have to tell you the best news with the whole thing. The weather is unbelievable. I got home a little earlier today. It's probably about 4.45 and I think, Grace, how much time do we have before it gets dark outside? She said, I have no clue. Two hours, optimistic. Last night we stayed out here for a little bit longer, worked in the dark. Last time I left it, I think we had the aqua blocks and the liner in. I added a couple pieces here and there, and then I was gonna start working on the plumbing for the frog. And now I know 100% why Aquascape was so gracious in giving me that frog years and years ago. It's because the thing was broken. It doesn't work at all. I hooked up everything possible to it, and I think the line was clogged in the center. So I actually brought my father-in-law over over with a compressor and between his compressor some Kleenex long story and soap and bubbles and everything else we fixed it so I'll show you where the state of the frog is and how this girl and I are gonna plumb it today and get it ready to start working do you think we can get the thing actually working tonight Maybe. <laughs> She's my helper, she's awesome. She does a lot of projects with me, but today the two of us are gonna do some plumbing. So let's see if we brought the right stuff home and see if we can get it done, okay? What did I bring home? Yeah. Plumbing stuff, you okay. wanna see? Sure. All right. <laughs> so here's the frog. Yes, he looks sad. He's got a little something coming out of his beep beep. But I've got to go from this quarter inch line all the way to over our pump. And so I've got that thing fixed. I had to unbolt him from his pedestal over here. So we're going to have to get him back on there. But before we do that, I want to make sure I can get all the plumbing done. Because reaching my arm up into that thing was horrible. I had to unbolt it. We'll go get some of the fittings that I got and uh, see if we can not get it from that quarter inch copper line over to our pump. Here we go. That's so weird. Crazy how dark it is. Yeah, so uh, the two of us got a little sidetracked. You had some homework to do, and the plumbing didn't work out nearly as smoothly as we thought, right? So you had to go to the hardware store. So I had to go to the hardware store again. The problem was is that little quarter inch copper line, which I thought was a quarter inch, was clearly not a quarter inch. And the crazier thing is it wasn't 3 8 inch. It's some kind of copper line that doesn't exist anymore in the plumbing world. So we really had to get creative and come up with a different, where are you going? Oh, you're, show, you're going, oh my gosh. <laughs> We, we had to get some tubing to slide over the top of it. We had to use a lighter. To melt it. To melt it, that's right. Should we show them what our creation looks like? Sure. All right. So the frog still looks dead, right? Because he's <laughs> laying down. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what we got. We have this mysterious diameter copper line. Not sure, we used a little chunk of this which is just some braided tubing. Then I had some brass fittings that I was able to get down to my three quarter inch flex pipe. So now that we've got all of this, I think we can snake all of this stuff back through his pedestal, just sitting over there. God, look at how much different it is outside than it was when we first started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, a, like the stones in the backyard and then like um, tons of spider webs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about, but... <laughs> yeah, like, right there, you know the stones in the backyard? Yeah. It, it was just that, and then there was like tons of spider webs on those little spaces. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if we can move that pedestal thing over here and get this guy on top of it. Alright, slowly but surely, this thing is gonna happen. What's the problem now? We need to make the hole bigger. We put all of this plumbing on, which we just assumed would fit through that hole, and it doesn't. So what are you doing? I'm going to make the hole bigger. With your, tool, with your yes. tools? Yes. All right, go get them. Show them how. <laughs> oh, at it. <laughs> it's not been 
easy at all. In fact, I think building <laughs> small little fountains sometimes is harder than million dollar ponds. But here is my uh, number one helper over here for today is gonna explain kind of where we're at and what the next step is. Miss Grace Helfrich, tell us what we had to do down here. We had to make a hole down here so the hose can go through. So right in here, we had to chisel that out because if this sat flat, obviously it wouldn't sit level. So we chiseled out a little area down there and now we're ready to move this thing, which weighs about how much? Um, I do not know. What would you guess? 50 pounds? 50? I don't know. 500? 500 pounds? So your dad must be pretty <laughs> strong, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Grace, we're gonna move this. You're gonna help me. We're gonna move this guy okay. with the hose attached over to there. And then do you think we should actually, even though it's getting kind of late, put a pump on it and see if it works? Yes. Oh my gosh, what if it doesn't? It was a waste of time. Oh. No, seriously, we've been working for how many days? Too many, right? On this the mountain, it's dark, it's almost bedtime. We're gonna turn this thing on and see what happens. Um, you guys are gonna witness our test run. Not the completed project, but our test run. Grace, you wanna film the frog and see what happens? Sure. All right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say that's a wrap for the night. <laughs> Grace, thank you so much for helping me. It was fun always working with you. You are such a good worker, but we've got a few more things to do. I think you can hear it. Yes, yes. So tomorrow or the next day or the next day, but easily by this weekend, I will have it finished, finished. I think I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna seal up that bowl. And then the next time you'll see it is all up and running, planted, mossed. I really wanna put some moss and some final touches, some lights and everything else. Hey, so thanks for being patient. I know it's been, we're being patient, so you should be patient, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you in a couple days, bye. Hey guys, we're back. It's the Brian and Grace team, Gracie team. Looks like she's got Teddy there as a helper, but got about an hour before the sun goes down and we're gonna try to get one more section of this little thing done. Um, I think today's 37 on our front yard water feature. So much for that one day pond, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I was just explaining to Grace what we have to do. Let's go explain to everybody else what I was telling you, right? Yeah. All right, so we've got this beat up bowl. And if you can remember, when we set this bowl the first time, it was setting about this high. And so we shaved the bottom of that thing off about three inches or so. So I cut that thing down and I was able to recess a little bit. Obviously, when I pump water into this, there's no way anything's gonna spill out from this little edge down into that. And I'll explain that in a second. We've got to waterproof this the best way we can. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna have Grace hold this pipe like so, making sure it stands straight up. I'm gonna put some gravel around it. Then we're gonna get some foam and some fabric and see if we can't seal this thing up, making it 100% waterproof. The idea is to bring gravel all the way up above this, and then we'll do a foam bib liner on here, and we should get all the water to come out with that. That's the theory, let's see if it works. All right, Grace, tell us where we're at right now. So we just followed the bowl in with a bunch of gravel, Uh huh. and we took some some glue. Yep. And filled in these bowls. Yep. And we made sure with the bowl is covered. Very good. So we've got basically that whole hole filled in with gravel up to there. We've leveled it side to side, like Grace said. Now we're gonna come in and cut a piece of fabric to fill that whole area and then put a bed of foam on top of it. That way when the water comes up the pipe, it'll hit that bed of foam, keeping the water from penetrating down through the gravel, forcing it to come back up and over this area here. So next step, cut the fabric, foam the gravel. So I lost my helper. <laughs> I'm sure all you guys can relate, but I lost for good reason. She wanted to go on a bike ride with a friend. So off you go and I'm left here. It's pretty dark. It doesn't show that it's dark. The camera's lying, but I probably got 20 minutes. You can see lights back on over here. And it's because the photo cell says it's dark. But let me just show you where we're at. I 100% know next time I'm showing you guys everything is when it's all said and done. So here's a quick little glimpse of how I finished off the bowl. I had this boxwood sitting around because that's what boxwoods do. Got that in there. You can see the stubbed up pipe. Everything's sealed. I've got a little light aiming right at it. Hopefully that light shines up, hits this weeping white pine. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Steady, steady. Thanks. We're gonna turn this thing on, let it fall in there. I'm gonna trim all this up. We've got some plantings and stuff to do back in there. Definitely wanna see what I can get for plantings back in this little area to soften things up. Got some plumbing to clean up over in there, but I am loving the way it's turning out. I think it adds a whole lot of ambiance to my front yard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, guys, so we finally finished my front yard water feature. You can almost, you can kinda see it back behind me. It was such a fun experience for me to work with uh, Grace, my youngest daughter. She really got into do it she would have loved to help me finish it all up but homework was calling her name so she had to go do that so we finally finished it we put some little touches at the end we added some moss we added a couple of little plants everything I had from just kind of around my yard so I just moved and split and divided stuff from around my yard I cannot wait to show you guys what this thing looks like in the spring I've got some bulbs and stuff around it a lot of allium and some other stuff that uh, I love planting this time of year I think it turned out fantastic but you guys tell me what you think check this out Matt, what do you think? <laughs> yes? No? Yes. Yes. One thumb up or two thumbs up? Two. Two thumbs up. And if you guys think it looks cool now, wait till you see what it looks like at night. Pow! All right, let's get Grace's reaction. Grace, come on out. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so do you, do you love it? Yeah. Was it fun building? Mm-hmm. What was your favorite part besides working with your dad? <laughs> um, my favorite part about it is probably um when at night the water looks like it's on like roof. Yeah, it's super the colored cool. Lights. The colored lights. So you love the colored lights. Mm -hmm. What did you like about building it? Well, I like doing the foaming stuff. The foaming. Yep. I don't know why, but that's just. Fine. It's satisfying. Yes. Yes. Well, a huge addition to our, wait, don't be on camera. <laughs> so quite a uh, front yard curb appeal. Really still designed it from the kitchen window there. Our kitchen window actually faces towards the front of the house. So from this view up in here, you get a pretty awesome view out towards that area. And boom. Just like that, the colored lights are on. I just love the way it looks at night. And when Grace was saying her favorite part is the way it looks at night, just look at how cool that looks. It looks like silver, blue silver, is falling off that sphere up there. You've got that little ribbon fall kind of disappearing down into the aqua blocks. That little light up on top, I just love it. And as you walk up to the front, it just really sets off this whole little courtyard I have, kind of a front yard courtyard. Do you want to see the best part? Check this out. With my phone, I have this app and I can actually change with the Aquascape app. I can sync it to my lights and instantly change them from green to yellow to red kind of a purple, back to blue. If I want white, I hit here, and I have the white, which is still my favorite, but the kids love the blue. And so with an awesome app by Aquascape, not only can you control your lights, you can control pumps, you control the smart plug, you can control everything you need to with your pond. Now it looks like silver. What's your favorite? Rolling up another one. Yeah, man. Rolling up. My, if I'm choosing a color, I really like it right around kind of in that space right there. But I still like white the best. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey of my front yard water feature. It was fun. Thanks for joining along. Tell me what your favorite part is. What do you think of those color changing lights? Do you like white? Do you like the blue? Do you like the option? It is kind of cool, I guess, for different times of year. Just yeah, comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the routine. Thank you, bye.
rolling up another. 